for me. I'm like, cold, yeah, and I'm okay, okay so right now. Because, but, but you guys are silent. I'm sure like, between the three of you, I have a hundred more gold than you, basically. Yes, you know, we just got you out of a very sticky situation. Not one to, you know, <laughs> wow, share the gonna... love as it as it is said here. Sure. You, um, you guys deserve it. Thanks for that. <laughs> but I don't appreciate the beat. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's either that or you can do it in jail. Yeah, D think... looks like D looks like they just pissed off an alley cat. By <laughs> <hugging> it. <laughs> that's yeah, such a good you're, not, you're not hurt her compared to like I don't know like a fucking Ligorotus oh, no. slicing you with his sword like Sephiroth. But but oh, superficially, no. you're pissed off. Oh, an alley cat. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that's really that's where we're at right now. Oh my god. This is gonna be so awkward when the merchants show up at our inn. <laughs> no. Wait, you bitch! Oh my god, I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah, so, figure out where you get the money from, if you even need the money, Anushka, and then type to me what, what gift you're getting. Okay. Let us switch gears to the people that want to go talk to the free marchers, shall we? <laughs> so, this is Redane, Alexander. Sajar and Oriana, you guys go to talk to the free marchers. Yeah, I, I think I have other things I need to do instead. Damn. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll go. Sure. Rope them in. I would say, I would say, like this might not take up the entire time for you guys. Um, you guys might have like other or like some spare time afterwards. Also, I'm trying to find new music. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> I bet you are. Yeah, I am. Typical. So you guys meet up with the other Seeker and Slayer captain, as well as the free marchers in the Slayer mess hall, because it's just bigger. Because of more Slayers in general. Uh -huh. So, we have... Let me just... Uh, I just realized we were on the map this whole time, weren't we? Yo. Hey uh, We have... In New Company, obviously, we have the rest of the free marchers at the bottom there, accompanied by Slayer Captain Thormut. Boar. Yes, his boar is in the mess hall with him. Hell yeah. You guys can't <laughs> tell him otherwise. I will say, just really predominantly to Alessander, because he's the one that is familiar with arsenals, he has explosives built into his lance. <laughs> what the fuck? So he literally has an explosive lance ready to go. He's got um, a literal boomstick. And That's Seeker power. Captain Blair. She looks that pissed all the time. There's no changing that. <laughs> she is oh, no, my cute. type. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, she's not muscly enough. Uh, is there a free, free marker missing at the end here? It should be only hey. four. Okay. The one on the bottom was a, a um, silver boy captain. Okay. What? Yeah, what is poor guy's name? Captain. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Slayer. Thor Mutt. Thor Mutt. Seeker, Captain Blair. I will say a couple of points on the appearances of the free marchers. Uh, the one on the far right is really bent inward and sort of, I don't know, introverted, I guess the best way to describe him. He is not a social sort. He doesn't want to talk to anyone really. Whereas the one, his buddy next to him, is engaged in the conversation, talking really fucking fast to the point where you wonder how he breathes. And yes, yes, the blue-skinned lady there does wield a sword that, by all accounts, is a hulking mass of steel. And it has runes on it. Also, this music goes way too hard there. It's way harder oh, yeah. than I remember. We will change it! Yeah, this is, this is the this is fight music. This is fight music. Yeah, you, you put it on. I'm like, oh, bar fight? What? It wouldn't be a fight. I mean, I probably should have used that for for what, what just happened. <laughs> um, what music? Hmm, what music should I play? Um, Bastia? No, Bastia's too upbeat. No, nah, Bastia's Bastia's kind of music. Um, you yeah, I didn't think of the Witcher music because uh, because because uh, because uh, Siri up here. <laughs> No, no, <laughs> again, bar fight. <laughs> no, I'm just going back to Crossroad Key music. Rep the Neverwinter Nights two and they're jumping here. So, yeah, you guys go talk with the free marchers in them. 
Uh, Captain Blair is talking with the Seekers. Captain Thornlaw is talking with the Slayers. While the Free Marchers are sort of like sitting at a table, just sort of left to their own devices. Naru is present, by the way. Don't worry, she is present. And she's telling uh, her fellow adventurers about you guys. And like, hey, I met the other uh, adventuring group, and they're really nice. Uh, one of them, I'm helping one of them with stuff right now. Da 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 da. And then entering you guys. Uh, Rodin is here, correct? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep, he's he's here, but you can definitely see like he's uh, d doing calculations in his head. I guess you could say. Ah. his mind is busy. Uh, well, I guess as we walk in, Alexander will uh scan around, spot the halfling, and sort of nudge the jar and say, "Is that the one that you've been spending time with?" Uh, yes, no, who's been helping me? Ah, oh, me. there they are. Oh, hey, Naru, these are my friends. This guy in the hat just stands up from the bench immediately and rushes over to you guys. Oh, dear. Uh, she points at Sajar, so he goes over to you, Sajar, and begins, he takes your hand and shakes it vehemently. just up da 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 Now, you must be Sajar. I have heard a lot about you. I, a pleasure to meet you. I've heard you've been very good to Naru. I heard she's been working on some stuff. Hope that the project's going super well. Hi. Uh, oh, my bad. I shouldn't uh, be jumping to conclusions. I'm uh, Shivir. That one there is Lonin. He's really quiet. And that there is Tirfka. She's even quieter than him. Shivir, Lonin, and Tirfka? Yep, that's right. Don't worry, I'll type them out for you. Uh, can we also toss in the halfling? Cause... Oh, no, it's done. No, no, no. Naru. 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 And they are you. Uh, there's two. Naru. There's two Ks here. Mm -hmm. Naru stands for one. No, shut mm, the fuck up. <laughs> God damn, that's a word. Uh, uh, her name's meme. It's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write down small notes to remember. So Severe is Charmer, Lonin is Rogue, Nara is Halfling, which is kind of racist, but then Tirfa is Blue, which is probably more racist. Hey, I mean, you deal with your issues. I did <laughs> it is a pleasure to meet all of you. I have uh, under good info that uh, to copy the good captain there that you will be joining us on this hunt. Yeah, you are uh, correct. Uh, yes. No, come over. Here. Sit, 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 sit. Come on. Glad. He, he ushers you guys over. Slot him. Move over. All right. <laughs> he just scoots over a bit. What a eat. Well, speaking of that accent, you guys do hear Captain Thormont. He is quite boisterous and loud. <laughs> yeah. Not them, then! Yes, that's them. Mmm. Mmm. Pork shop! Give me a sniff! <laughs> this boar comes over and then... <laughs> sniffs at you guys. I love this <gasps> Is I it love boar? Pork I no, love it's not your guys' fucking boar. It's a boar, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Just because you walk by the board doesn't Please mean it's yours. Dream. Can, <laughs> I, I dream, okay? Can I scratch the board behind the ear? Can I scratch pork chop behind the ear? Roy Adam, I think. Please don't suck, 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 please don't suck. Since you touch these screens. He tries to, like, gore you. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> you yeah. should dodge it, and he's like, Ah! Ha ha ha! That's all I get him, pork chop! Get him! Get him! <laughs> I just love that it's called pork chop. That's just great. It's a reference. Well, he is very uh, fast, very fast, much faster than I thought. I. Ah, oh, so you're yeah, the one to get some river company. Uh, yes. Let me be taller. He says it's a dwarf. <laughs> if I stand up at my like eye level, you're, you're, him, but he's on it. You're you're totally taller than him. To 100 percent taller than him, even on his board. He's a dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm saying like if it's on his board. <laughs> He's not on his board right now. He's he's on he's on the ground. Oh, I just figured yeah. he's like never off the thing. No, he gets off the board. That's that's so cool to be on your horse, boar mount all the time. Your best friend. So, Redain would walk up at that. I think we all know that size is no intrinsic declaration of merit. <laughs> like that one. I like that one. He's Good. usually the one in charge, Good. so it makes sense. He's he he they 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 ain't coming with us, uh, pretty are they? No. Uh, all of you roll me inside. Uh, hip and skibbity bop. I'm taking them fucking eights. Uh, oh, do, oh that natural. Don't cute. worry, Alec. I, I see it. Okay, I see it. <laughs> I, in my heart of hearts, I see it. In my heart of hearts. 
มัวปวดคอสปวดปวดโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้
Which, in fairness, giant runes and dwarven runes are relatively similar. Hmm. Then I ask you, what type of people are you? Are you adventurous for money, gold, fame? Ah, do you want to make the world a better place? That, my friend, is a very good question. And you, when you, as you ask that, you actually pique the interest of the remaining three of them. What if I told you, friend, that we are after a potentially impossible goal, but that doesn't scare us in the slightest? Sounds like Tuesday. I see this is the wrong crowd of people to be dropping dramatic information on. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately for you. Go right. on. You do know we're going to go with the Seekers to fight five fell gods in less than a week. I mean, we aren't all going to be fighting all five of them. You guys, as I've been told, will be handling the hag, and we will be handling the host. Mm -hmm. Celebrant. That's a big target. All right, so Leaf is only one this time. Well, <laughs> I'll have you know, uh, we are actually going after one of the first fairies. Oh, and, no. and we have a good contact in Sofwal that wants this celebrant dead, and he will help us get information and resources after their death. That sounds fairly lofty. What? I know. Who but are you going after we have to do what we must do. Hmm. Oh, then I asked you a follow-up question. Please do. If you saved the world and changed no one else's lives, was it worth it? If the world is safe and everyone didn't die from our failure, absolutely. Do I believe him? Ruins it. I mean, some some claim and recognition would be nice, right? Maybe some <laughs> land and money and women, he, he you know. Like but you know, uh, he still has relatively noble intention, even if he just wants some recognition thereof. Then what if I told you there was a little boy whose life's hung in the balance right now? Or got a, a little boy. A little boy. Why, I know you aren't talking about Lonin over there. He's a little boy, too. Lonin's, like, early 20s? So What do you mean, friendo? Redain just simply gets up and readjusts himself. I'm asking you what kind of person you are. If you're the type of person that has lofty goals and ambitions, and enjoy your drink. If you're the type of person that truly wants to make the world a better place, no matter how small. Follow me. Sodor gets up. I'm, I'm definitely tagging along. <laughs> Sorry, lovely conversation, but we... We'll talk to... later. We'll talk later. I don't know about following a bunch of strangers going in search of a little boy. <laughs> it's not... I might have gotten him in danger, and we're trying to fix that. That's all I can say. <laughs> Sounds like a you problem, friend. <laughs> How heroic. I was just gonna say. <laughs> Heroes can't be everywhere. And they if you're the one that got in trouble anyways, sounds like it should be your mess to fix. Not ours. Set bad precedent uh, when you get rescued for a problem you definitely made. Could I Don't incite it. the other members of his party? Sure. Were you uh, trying to check up on them? Uh, to see if any of them are oh, as... Shit. Yeah, to see if any of them give a shit, whereas he clearly fucking doesn't. Yeah. One side. Oh, Holy okay. Christ! Okay. Oh, oh we talk about all those nat twenties. Yeah. They coming back. You're gonna get three, baby, three for mm -hmm. spice. Yeah, because two of them are extremely quiet. One of them is extremely loud, and then one of them seems like she probably tinkers and keeps to herself most of the time. So they probably just follow whatever he does. If I'm going Let's to see. guess. Lonin genuinely looks like he really doesn't care. <laughs> like, mm. not that it's like beneath him to care, but moreover, he just doesn't know you guys. It, it looks like he just has a general discomfort amongst everything. Helping, not helping, he just keeps himself. A very quiet, neutral standpoint. 
Mm -hmm. uh, I would say with that nat 20, you would spot that Tirvka has a coin that she's like rolling between her hand, or her fingers rather. One is smiling, and the other one is also smiling, but with like an angry eyebrow. And she like looks at you guys, and she like is rolling this very like she's super used to this. Like it's quite clear that she's rolled this billions of times—not not billions, but thousands of times. Uh, all right, tier of go. Let's say you and that coin of yours. She rolls between her fingers and flips it, catches it, puts it down in her hand. I roll a d two. Uh, actually. Uh, on a, a two-shot go with you guys. As, as she flips it in the air, could Alexander actually reach out and catch it? Uh, okay, yeah. No no, no check needed for that. So it's not like she's trying to like get you to not catch it. Uh, so uh, he sends his hand out, grabs it midair, and holds it in place, clutching his fist, and he says, There's a young man out there that could be in danger. If you don't come with us, you're just going to be sitting on your asses here doing nothing. And then uh, he will uh, like smack his hand down flat on the table, uh, still covering the coin. And he says, you're really going to leave this up to chance? Roll me your persuasion. You're making an argument that clicks with them, although it's less of an argument <laughs> and more of a... Of a... Patronizing. Mm, sir, holy oh god. my god! Oh my god! We can't, oh we can't let him keep doing this, but also let him keep doing this. What are the no, chances? One in four hundred. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> oh, those are shiny odds. Not bad. I I, I turned God mode on. I guess. TGM. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> turn it on. He's playing chess while we're all playing checkers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> playing checkers. We're playing like solitaire. <laughs> We gotta end it. Uh, we gotta you end lift it. up your hand and you see the smiling one, but the one without angry eyes. And she like looks at that. And then Shivir's like, Well, he does raise a very good point. We did just get to town. We don't got rooms. Seekers and Slayers aren't gonna let us stay here. Let's take a walk around. Maybe we'll help. Sound like a plan. Think about it. all the bragging you can do to the ladies you'll meet later. You saved a young, innocent person from a certain death. Say less! <laughs> he stands up. <laughs> Alright, we have a child to save. Do we really have to, though? Yep, because you're coming with me, and if not, Tirvka saw the smiling coin, so she'll lift you up. Please don't. Then you better start walking, then, Boyle. <sighs> um, if it's alright with you guys, I still got projects to work on at the, at the, at the lapis locket, you know? Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Go, go. Yeah, yeah, she's been helping me. She's very busy. Yeah, that's fine. I, mean, I think we're. <laughs> like, she ever gets like two thumbs up? Hope it's been going well. Oh no, it has. It's been going fantastic, actually. I even got this, and she pulls out the thing that she bought from you, the Chad, <laughs> Chad lion, as you call it. <laughs> the Chad wow. lion, just the most chiseled jaw. He made this. He made that. I know, right? He made that. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you look really. Out. It looks really cool. If I'm being honest, I don't exactly know what goes with that. Yeah, yeah, we're coming, we're coming. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm... how to react to that. Yes. Yes, yeah, leave with the free marchers. Um, uh, if, if you think you'd be one of the last people out, roll perception. Uh, no, or yeah, I'm going to be the person now, so definitely not me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'd probably cover up the, the rear end at this point. Go on. Uh, what's the perception you said? Correct. That one. Yeah, I was, I was ready. I was ready for the luck to catch up to us eventually. <laughs> um, as you're leaving, Sooner you can hear later. Seeker Captain Blair just go, "Fucking adventurers." So you guys go to the the jet ridge, I assume. Yep, uh, I explained um, to him along the way. Yes, Garf? No, I thought he was going to say something. He did. I explained to him along the way. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was going to ask if. Because he seems. 
roguish. <laughs> He's quiet. So, uh, she'd ask Lonan, um, by the way, uh, by chance, are you good at disguise at all? As you, like, go over to talk to him, he, like, takes two steps away to, like, try to walk away from the conversation like Mass Effect. <laughs> like Mass Effect. Just, nope. <laughs> He like he literally walks around the city hunched over with his arms crossed and trying to keep to himself. Never mind. Ah. Don't worry. It happens. He has that effect on people. And small animals. No, he just wants to sort of... keep to himself. It's fun. Yeah. Don't worry. Here. I need you wanna to talk to him? Here. He, he sidles over to Lonan, who also begins trying to move away from Shivir, but he fucking pirouettes around him and fucking body blocks him and shoves him your way. There! Caught between a rock and a hard place. I'll let you pick which one you want to be. I just know how to take that. I think it's a flirt. Uh, I want to die. <laughs> well, I can't help with that. I don't know how to work with that. Sorry, didn't mean to get you all up. Caught on this. Kyle <laughs> <laughs> said you're fucking murderous. He pulled out a gun in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to get you caught up in all that. What do you want? Uh, any good at disguises, by chance? I'm alright at them. Would you be able to help me cover up, cover up a bit? Have you tried going to a tailor? I don't know if we have time for that. I can help you, Ari. Okay. So, you guys so, make yeah. your way to we the jet bridge. I would just explain. We went in, so there's a hidden passage down there. There's a couple ways we could go about this, but I'm not sure how many people are there. It's just the two or not. Thus, we need a distraction. To at least a group of three. But yeah, distraction is very useful. Needed. Uh, so yeah, I guess I would help Orion with the disguise kit. Raw disguise kit. <laughs> I didn't know he had her, I just would have went to him in the first place. <laughs> Sorry, best work, that's pretty good. I have a plus seven too. <laughs> He does. Uh, actually, get take advantage. Take take re roll that one more time. Oh, well, it's only slightly better, and I guess that makes sense yeah. given the source of it. <laughs> Tirovka comes over as you're like doing like some like uh, face highlighting makeup on Oriana to like give her a visually different facial profile, and Tirovka just like goes over and just like takes some of the makeup and begins like applying it to Oriana. She doesn't even say anything, she just starts doing it. <laughs> hey, how come you never help me do makeup? She just looks over at Amesh uh, across her shoulder. Yeah, you're right. I'm pretty pretty already. Hmm? Is he always like that? Yes. <laughs> well, what a shame. Boring. I appreciate the help. I just want to kill a fae. <laughs> Is that it's so much button. to ask? Is that so much to ask? <laughs> just get this over with. <laughs> I just pat her on like the forearm. It's like, it's okay, bud. Please don't touch me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone so, I try to interact with is just like, no, don't fucking interact with me. It's like, okay. I had three plans on how to get in, right? That, that right. They each get more Looney Tunes. <laughs> okay, all right. Max yeah, let's, let's go. That, that's an interesting perspective. Okay. But tell you guys what. Tell you guys what. You guys are at the jet rage. Anushka sent me some gifts. Gifts? 